It is the 6th of the 1st, 2014. This is your radioactive reality. Start you off tonight with a new place, new site, called Simply Info, Info the Fukushima Project. Links below. Fukushima News Roundup, January 6, 2014. Greenpeace made an effort to find out the nature of the companies that built Fukushima Daiichi and now benefit from the disaster. Meanwhile, companies deeply involved in the design, construction, and running of the reactors involved in the triple meltdown are not being held accountable. Shockingly, in some cases, they are making more profits out of the disaster recovery. These companies, namely GE, Hitachi, Toshiba, who designed and built reactors at Fukushima Daiichi, have special rights under the nuclear damage liability law that protect them from product liability should there be a nuclear disaster. Essentially, this means they can profit without worrying about the risks of a meltdown, since the public pays the damage should an accident happen. Very interesting read indeed. Any news? Headlines. Harvard website media blindly reports TEPCO's false radiation levels, says Fukushima official. Press won't report the truth. Quote, it's still scary in Tokyo. People move away due to hot spots. Environment abruptly changed for over half of Japan. I agree. Nuclear Journal on Fukushima plutonium effect. Melting MOX fuel may lead to neutron flux blow up. Surprisingly, there's absolutely no reference data in any specific literature. So basically, they're saying. Um, the inconsistency in the heat source due to the MOX fuel, uh, hot spots and whatnot, and trying to cool it off, um, that this thing can fission and fission and fission again over and over and over as the melting process continues. A lot of scientific humbo jumbo, but uh, if you read through the comments, they try to get through it for you pretty quickly. LA Times, an alarming West Coast sardine crash may likely radiating through the ecosystem. Expert warn marine mammals and seabirds are starving, may suffer for years to come. Boats return without a single fish. Monterey Bay, hard to resist idea that humpback whales are trying to tell us something. The ecosystem's in total alarm along the west coast of the United States and Canada. All the way down into Mexico, the reports keep coming in. The deaths, the starvation, the destruction, the havoc that is. Um, all the tsunami debris and the chemicals and the radioactive waste uh, pushing up against the coastline of the United States and Canada. It's in the rain, it's in the air, it's in the ground, it's in the water. TV, massive radioactivity release at Fukushima going on for almost three years now. I've been saying this over and over and over again. Remember, 1,032 days? 1,032? Visible steam, just the tip of the iceberg. NHK containment vessels are broken. And I've been saying the aquarium has left the building. They are past containment and into the environment. Seeping directly into the Pacific Ocean from underneath now, as reported. We see radiation from Fukushima in the soils of Southern California, especially in our desert regions. High concentrations in seaweed prevented harvest this year. Also found in cattle and chicken feed. Again, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Where do we get our rain from? Where does this rain fall? ABC News. Government scientists baffled over white spots on cows around Fukushima plant. Farmer, no one knows what they are. What they are. I think it's from radiation. Our town's contaminated like Chernobyl. We were just thrown away like trash. Officials ordered the animals to be slaughtered. CEO Fish, Fukushima is very bad. We have a crew in Japan right now. Reports coming out of the government covered it up. Food around whole region got irrita ir irradiated. Increased problems for people in Tokyo. Host, really scares me I don't hear anyone discussing how to stop it. Because they can't. They don't know how. They got the Yakuza in charge, for Christ's sake. Official detects radiation spike in California Beach, now at 500% normal levels. 
befuddled, befuddled, as uh, to why it's so high. Claims there's no immediate health concern. Public interest in Fukushima nuclear waste rising. This guy's trying to compare it to uh, red painted plastic forks or some crap like that. The insanity continues. Oh, don't worry, folks. There's no immediate danger. This stuff doesn't accumulate and accumulate and accumulate every day, every moment of every day. Uh, over to Daily News Fukushima Diary. Is the truth of Fukushima health problems concealed like Chernobyl? Question mark. I wonder. EXSKF is a blogspot highly, highly. TEPCO apologizes to Fukushima 1 nuclear power plant subcontractors and explains, quote, additional risk benefit of 10,000 yen, 96 bucks US every day. A day doesn't mean additional risk benefits of 10,000 yen a day. So basically, they messed up and put out the number that this is the high risk uh, daily pay that these Fukushima workers are supposed to be making, but these subcontractors are skimming off the top uh, their daily hazard pay, and uh, <laughs> the insanity continues. Very interesting read, and again, we've got the Japanese mob running things. Does anything surprise us at all? And finally tonight, I'm going to leave you with uh, informable. TEPCO, prom TEPCO president promises utility will do its best in 2014 to, quote, not have any problems, unquote. Well, I feel better, don't you? Enjoy while you can, everybody. Uh, of course, if I missed anything, uh, let me know. Attach your comment or video below, or whatever. Send me a message. Thanks, guys.